Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it is a qualifying round with Taunton High School. <laughs> Taking on Needham High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Smart home technology can help prevent a little problem from becoming a big headache. You can ask an independent agent about smart home technology offers from Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by University of Massachusetts Amherst. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, a revolutionary spirit runs through our veins. As pioneers, builders, unconventional doers, we dream bigger, reach higher, and commit ourselves to the relentless pursuit of progress. Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Coster, your host. Uh, back in November, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's tournament. So the goal for each of those 17 teams now is to become the next High School Quiz Show champion. In today's match, we have Needham High School taking on Taunton High School. And on the Needham team, we have Harvard, Anne, Jonah, and Izzy, with alternates Elizabeth and Evan, and coaches Ken Brook and Brad Walker. <laughs> on the Taunton team, we have Sam, Victoria, Aiden, and Manor. Alternates Fred and Alex and coaches Tula Laskorski and Judith Lubernayrod. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. Uh, we're going to start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, teams, if you are ready, good luck, and uh, here we go. In 2019, what WikiLeaks founder was arrested at the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he had been living in asylum for seven years? Yes, Victoria. Julian Assange. Yes, made with natural dyes from uh, lichens. What type of paper is used to test whether a substance is an acid or a base? Yes, Harvard. pH paper. No, you want to try it, Taunton? <laughs> Litmus paper is the answer. The Gutenberg Press, the first method of printing for movable type, was invented in the mid-1400s in what modern-day country? <laughs> yes, Harvard. The Holy Roman Empire. No, Taunton, you want to try? Yes, Sam? Germany. Germany is correct. In April 2019, what former Massachusetts governor announced he was challenging Donald Trump for the Republican nomination for president? Yes, Ann. Bill Weld. Bill Weld is correct. Take a look at your screens. Every Memorial Day weekend, over 1,000 soldiers honor our nation's fallen heroes by placing approximately 245,000 flags at the graves of what national cemetery in Virginia pictured here? Yes, Izzy. Arlington Cemetery. Or Arlington National Cemetery. Yes, that's correct. We move on. In 2019, what team won the FIFA Women's World Cup with a 2-0 victory over the Netherlands? Yes, Jonah. The USA. Yes, along with parent company Altria Philip Morris. In 2019, what e-cigarette company faced a class action lawsuit for allegedly marketing vapes to teens? Yes, Jonah. Jewel. Jewel is correct. As part of his 12 labors, Hercules was required to uh, visit the underworld and bring back what ferocious three-headed guard dog? <laughs> yes, Anne. Cerberus. Yes. Uh, Western expansion, also called Manifest Destiny, was the goal of what American president elected in 1844? <laughs> yes, Jonah. Polk. Polk is correct. Uh, take a look at your screens. 
Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Boston Red Sox Hall of Famer Tim Wakefield, and here's my question. After 17 seasons with the Red Sox, I retired in 2012 as the longest tenured pitcher on the team. In what year did we finally reverse the curse and win our first World Series since 1918? Yes, Jonah. 2004. 2004 is correct. Uh, reaching up to 65 feet in length, what harmless filter feeder is the world's largest fish? Whale shark is the answer. Archaeological evidence suggests that Stone Age hunters commonly used what hard gray rock to make arrowheads and other tools? And? Flint. Flint is correct. After Hurricane Katrina, the U.S. consulted water management experts from what European country that has more than 10,000 miles of dikes? Yes, Jonah. The Netherlands. Correct. Which of the following is a synonym for truculent? Is it A, vain, B, belligerent, or C, careless? Jonah. B, belligerent. Correct. Math question. In a right triangle, what term refers to the side that is always opposite the right angle? Yes, Harvard. Hypotenuse. Yes. Uh, Nina Simone's song, To Be Young, Gifted, and Black, pays homage to what author of the play A Raisin in the Sun, who died in 1965 at the age of 34? Yes, Victoria. Lorraine Hansberry. Yes. Eight years after Columbus began his first voyage to the New World, explorer Pedro Alvarez Cabral landed in Brazil and claimed it for what country? Yes, Jonah. Portugal. Yes. In 2019, Ali Stroker became the first actress who uses a wheelchair to win a Tony Award for her role as Edo Annie in what Rodgers and Hammerstein musical? Izzy. Oklahoma. Yes. First published in The New Yorker in 1948, what Shirley Jackson short story generated the most mail the magazine has ever received, most of it hateful. Izzy. The Lottery. Yes. What crescent-shaped lake located between France and Switzerland is the largest alpine lake in Europe? Yes, Izzy. Lake Geneva. Yes. In 2019, scientists found a fossil site in North Dakota uh, that contains animals and plants killed and buried within an hour of the meteor impact that killed the dinosaurs. This happened approximately how many years ago? Was it A, 6 million, B, 66 million, or C, 600 million? Yes, Jonah. B, 66. Yes. In 1960, what country formerly known as Ceylon became the first country in the world to have a female prime minister? Yes, Aiden. Sri Lanka. Yes. If we had had confidence the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. Who said this in May 2019 regarding his investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election? Yes, Ann. Mueller. Yes, Robert Mueller. Uh, what is the chemical formula for hydrogen peroxide, a common household disinfectant? Yes, Ann. H2O2. Yes, math question. If you take out a loan for $20,000 at 4% simple interest, how much interest would you pay in a two-year period? Yes, Harvard. 800. No. You want to try, Taunton? 1,600 would be the answer there. In 2013, what junior U.S. senator from Texas led a major effort to defund the Affordable Care Act? Yes, Aiden. Ted Cruz. Yes. What joint in the human body is stabilized by the anterior cruciate ligament and the medial collateral ligament? Yes, Jonah. The knee. That is correct. Uh, what famous public square in London commemorates Lord Nelson's great naval victory in 1805 during the Napoleonic Wars? Jonah. Trafalgar. Yes. Once home to some of the world's. But that is the end of the toss-up round. The score right now. Uh, Needham High School, 200 points. Taunton High School, 50 points. How about it, everybody? Let's make some noise. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is up next. First, we take a little break. Chill time, if you will. We get to know the contestants a little bit better. So I've got a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer. We're going to start over here with Needham High School and you, Harvard. And uh, here it comes. If you could make up a word, what would the word be and what would it mean? Um, it would be quizphoria because there wasn't a word to define uh, how excited I am to be here today. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Come on. Give him a round of applause. I like that. 
Anne, how about you? Um, my word would be simuldia, um, and it would mean when you have the same idea as somebody else simultaneously, but simuldia. independently. Very nice. Jonah? Uh, my word is sentempo, which refers to uh, the perception of time. Okay, and Izzy? My word is snizzle. Um, it's a word for the feeling that you get when you need to sneeze, but it won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that, the snizzle? I'm gonna take that one with me. All right, over to Taunton High School. Sam, how about you? Uh, my word would be scasm, which is the word that when you know, you know what the word is, but you only can remember what it means. And it's ironic because you can scasm, scasm, and then you can forget the word that means you know what the word means to a word that you know what it means but can't remember the word. Can you start that again so I can take notes? <laughs> Victoria, how about you? Uh, my word is bibliopiphany. So it's when you're reading a book and then immediately realize how the title connects to the rest of the work. Nice. Hopefully it gets somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Aiden, you? <laughs> uh, so my word is a demi fruit, or if you're feeling ambitious, a demi veggie. It's those weird fruits that occupy that space where you know they're technically fruits, but you would never in a million years put them in a fruit salad. Like, if you put a tomato in a fruit salad, okay. you clearly aren't appreciating the demi fruit nature. You've really given fruit. this a lot of thought, haven't you, Aiden? <laughs> Uh, Manor, how about you? My word would be gregarious. Um, it is based on Lou Gehrig's uh, life, mm -hmm. um, basically being uh, an emblem of positivity even in the negative times. Good for you. Okay, it's time to go head to head. And the way that works is we're all going to come forward, including all of you, and we're all going head to head. So let's do it. Okay, we are about to go head to head. I've got Taunton to my left, Needham to my right. Would you like to shake hands? And uh, we'll get started with the round. As a uh, reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, and here we go. Who was the first person to serve as First Lady of the United States of America? Yes. Martha Washington. Yes. A limerick is a light or humorous poem that traditionally has how many lines? Yes. Five. Yes. Uh, what is the smallest planet in the solar system? Yes. Uh, Mercury. Yes. Uh, name the only country in the world that has coastlines on both the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Russia. Uh, name the only sisters in Olympic history to win gold in women's doubles tennis. Yes. Serena and Venus Williams. Yes. Uh, Queen Victoria's mother and husband were both born in what present-day country? Germany. Montage of Heck is a documentary about the life and death of what lead singer of the band Nirvana? Yes. Kurt Cobain. Yes. After Portugal refused, what country paid for Ferdinand Magellan's trip to circumnavigate the globe? Yes. Spain. Spain is correct. What legendary king is the subject of T.H. White's novel, The Once and Future King? King Arthur. Yes. Uh, after the fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, what city became the capital of independent Czechoslovakia? Yes. Prague. Prague is correct. What light-colored volcanic rock is so porous that it can float? Yes. Pumice. Yes. Uh, things that you strike, like the drums or a xylophone, belong to what family? Yes. Percussion. Yes. In 1864, Congress authorized the use of what four-word phrase on U.S. coins? Yes. In God we trust. Did he make it? Yes. In God we trust. Yes, that's the answer. And that is the end of round two. Let's take a look at the score right now. Needham High School, 270 points. Taunton High School, 90 points. Yes! Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. High and Mighty, Gladiators 4, Lions 2, Spellbound, Road Scholar, You Give Me Fever, and Executive Time. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values and players you can confer with your teammates. But... Once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. So, uh, Taunt, you have a little ground to make up, but you do get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Uh, spellbound for 10. Okay. Spellbound. Correctly spell the following words. For 10 points, a typical or ideal example. Spell epitome. Aiden. E-P-I-T-O-M-E. Correct. You've still got the board taunting category. 
We're going to stay with Spellbound. Spellbound for 15 points. To provide with something desired, needed, or suited. Spell accommodate. Jonah. A C C O M M A D T E. No. Taunt, you want to give it a shot? Yes, Aiden. A C C O M M A D A T E. No, it's A C C O M M O D A T E. Uh, so you still have the board taunt in category, please. Uh, stick with it. Okay, spellbound for 20 points. A self seeking flatterer, spell sycophant. Yes, Izzy. S Y C O P H A N T. That is correct. And Needham, you get the board. Category? Uh, executive time for 10 points. Executive time questions about U.S. presidents for 10 points. In 1965, who signed legislation that established the Medicare and Medicaid programs? Aiden. Lyndon B. Johnson. That is correct. And you get the board back taunt in category? Uh, executive time 15. Executive time for 15 points. Who was president when the U.S. had its first major confrontation with Saddam Hussein when Iraq invaded Kuwait in 1990? Yes, Jonah. George H.W. Bush. That is correct. And you get the board Needham category. Let's go with high and mighty for 10. Okay. These will be questions about mountains for 10 points. Known for having some of the world's most extreme weather, what is the tallest peak in New England? Yes, Jonah. Mount Washington. That is correct. You've still got the board Needham category. Uh, gladiators for Lions 2 for 10. These will be questions about entertainment in ancient Rome. And for 10 points, gladiators fought in what giant amphitheater in Rome uh, that could seat up to 50,000 spectators who were shielded from the sun by a massive retractable awning? Yes, Anne. The Colosseum. The Colosseum is right. And Needham, you still have the board. Category? Road Scholar for 10. Road Scholar. All answers include the word road. For 10 points, in the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy and her friends follow what road to the Emerald City? Yes, Izzy. Yellowbrick Road. Yellowbrick Road is correct. So you get the board, Needham. Category, please. You give me fever for 10 points. Okay, these will be questions about infectious diseases. And for 10 points, hepatitis B is the most common infectious disease in the world today, affecting some 2 billion people. Hepatitis is the inflammation of what organ? Yes, Victoria. A uh, liver. Yes, and now you've got the board taunt in category. Uh, gladiators 4, Lions 2 for 15, please. Okay, for 15 points. Hugely popular with the masses, but extremely dangerous for drivers. Uh, chariot racing uh, took place in what oval-shaped sports arena that was the largest of the Roman hippodromes? Yes, Aiden. The Circus Maximus. Yes, and you've still got the board taunt in category. Uh, stick with it. Uh, gladiators for Lions 2 for 20 points. Uh, swimming was a favorite activity of Roman boys, and it was widely practiced in what river that runs through Rome? Yes, Jonah. The Tiber. Yes, the Tiber River, and you get the board Needham category. High and mighty for 15. For 15 points, what mountain in Washington state has the largest number of glaciers on a single peak anywhere in the contiguous United States? Yes, Jonah. Mount Rainier. Yes, that's correct. You've still got the board Needham category. Road Scholar for 15. Okay. And for 15 points. In 2019, what country rap crossover by Lil Nas X set a new record for most weeks in the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100? Yes, Aiden. Old Town Road. Old Town Road is correct. And Taunt, you now have the board category. Uh, Gladiators for Lions 2 for 25. For 25 points. Celebrated with merrymaking and role reversals. What ancient Roman festival in December was the predecessor of Christmas? Jonah. Saturnalia. That is correct. And now, Needham, you've got the board category. You give me fever for 15. Okay. For 15 points. Preventable with the MMR vaccine, what contagious disease that causes swollen glands, fever, and body aches tends to thrive in crowded environments like dorms or locker rooms? Yes, Harvard. Mumps. Mumps is correct. And Needham, you've got the board category. Um, you give me fever for 20? For 20 points. Uh, though it was declared eliminated in 2000, in 2019, the U.S. had an outbreak of more than 1,000 cases of what childhood disease marked by fever and a characteristic rash. Yes, Izzy. Chickenpox. No, you want to try it, Taunton? 
Yes, Sam? Measles. Measles is correct, and you get the board back taunting category. We'll take Gladiators 4, Lions 2. Okay, four, 30 points this time. Roman New Year celebrations honored what two-faced god of beginnings and transitions? Izzy. Janus. Janus is correct, and you've got the board Needham category. Uh, high and mighty for 20. Okay, for 20 points then. Uh, what mountain is the tallest peak in France? Mont Blanc is the answer, but you've still got the board Needham. So, category? Uh, Rhodes Scholar for 20. For 20 points. Uh, what London recording studio is closely associated with the Beatles, who recorded almost all of their albums there between 1962 and 1970? Yes, Anne. Abbey Road. Abbey Road is correct. You've got the board Needham category. Spellbound for 25. And for 25 points, a writ ordering a person to appear in court. Spell subpoena. Jonah. S-U-B-P-O-E-N-A. That is correct. You've still got the board Needham category. Executive time for 20. For 20 points. Uh, what president is associated with the era of good feelings, a national mood of high morale and political unity in the years following the war of 1812? Yes, uh, Manor. Monroe. James Monroe is correct. And you've got the board Taunton category. Executive time, 25. 25 points. Who was president when the U.S. acquired Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines territories ceded by Spain after the Spanish-American War? Yes, Sam. Theodore Roosevelt. No, Needham, you want to try it. Anne. McKinley. Yes, William McKinley is the answer. Needham, you've got the board category. Rhodes Scholar for 25. And for 25 points, written in three weeks on a giant scroll, what 1957 Jack Kerouac novel is considered a defining work? of the beat generation. Is he? On the road. On the road is right. You've got the board Needham category. Um, you give me fever for 25 points. For 25 points, what painful skin rash that typically affects older adults is caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox? Yes, Manor. Shingles. Shingles is right. And Taunton, you've got the board category. Oh, but that is the bell ending the category round. Score right now, Needham High School, 500 points. Taunton High School, 175 points. Let's hear it, folks. <laughs> okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of uh, gameplay, the lightning round. Uh, you get 20 points for each correct answer, but... Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. Uh, the clock is set, teams. Good luck, and uh, here we go. What leader of the Free French Resistance became president of France after... Yes, Jonah. De Gaulle. Yes, by definition, a quadrilateral has how many sides? Yes, and Four. Yes. Uh, the positive half in many batteries. What is the lightest of all metals on the periodic table? Yes, and Lithium. Yes, Thomas Jefferson had at least six children with what enslaved woman? Yes, and Sally Hemings. Yes. In the fictional world of Middle Earth, Bilbo Baggins lives in a comfortable hobbit hole named what? Yes, Jonah. Bag End. Yes, in 1935, Harry S. Truman was sworn in as the junior senator from what state? Jonah. Missouri. Yes, in the 2019 remake of The Lion King, what pop diva is the voice of now? Yes, uh, Anne. Beyonce. Beyonce. In 2019, what island of 23 million people became the first place in Asia to legalize gay marriage? Yes, Victoria. Uh, Taiwan. Yes. With 60% of its population under age 25, what continent has the youngest average age? Yes, Sam. Africa. Correct. Uh, who reprises his role as Maverick in the new Top Gun? Yes, Jonah. Tom Cruise. Yes, on Christmas night in 1776, George Washington famously crossed what river? Yes, Sam. The Delaware. Yes. Nicknamed the Mother Road, what opened in 1926 as the first continuously paved road from Chicago to Los Angeles? Jonah. Uh, Route 66. Yes, the novel A Separate Piece is set at the fictional Devon School in what New England state? Yes, Aiden. Massachusetts? No, New Hampshire. Oh, that's the bell ending the game. And uh, the winner this week, Needham High School with 660 points. Taunton High School, 235 points. Yes, congratulations to both teams for a great game. So Needham High School will now advance to the next round where they'll play against Waltham High School. And join us next week for the match between Andover and Wellesley. And we'll see you all back here on High School Quiz Show.
You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Museum of Science. Museum of Science. production of WGBH.